let's go over my minimal EDC bag. What's going on guys? I hope all y'all are doing great. So I just wanted to make a quick little video. Some people have asked me, what do I carry? Like you've seen in all my EDC videos of what I carry on my person. Um, something I do carry, I've carried this for about five, six months now. It's just this little small bag. It looks a little bigger in the video, but it is very small. As you can see, there's my chest. That's how small it is. But I've been carrying this for a little bit, and what I carry this for, this goes everywhere with me. I do have my bigger go bag. It's not a bug out bag, but it's like a go bag with more stuff in it, with my knees, something I could live off of for a couple days. It's not a bug out bag. Uh, I've got like some snacks, food, water, medical supplies, uh, guns, some mags, stuff like that. So I've made a lot of EDC videos of stuff on my person. I will continue to make those every now and then, maybe twice a year. But something people have asked me is what kind of bug out bags I run, EDC bags. Guys, I, I have a bug out bag, but it's, it don't get touched and just my everyday stuff. I'm working 50% of the time, 9% of the time, whatever. And the days I'm off, I don't really carry my bug out bag. So this right here is, I've had this for about five, six months. It's just a small EDC, it's a minimal bag. This is not my go bag. I carry a Vertex Ready Pack, I believe it's called, or the Gamut, um, with me at all times. My car, that is a go bag. That's got more stuff, more medical supplies, food, water, something that last me a couple of days, guns, etc. So I do have a go bag, I'm gonna be on that, but this is just a minimal EDC bag I carry with me. Um, this goes with me everywhere. I don't always carry this, say if I'm going with a buddy, my fiance, whatever, go out to eat, whatever. I don't always have this on me, but I just got back from the beach and this stayed with me. I didn't always have my gun on this at the beach. Um, I did have my bag with me though. So this basically, this bag goes with me places that I might not be carrying on my person. Um, this can go to the, this goes to the gym with me, stuff like that. So this is a small minimal EDC bag. The name of this bag, I could not tell you that to save my life. I will find it and leave a link down in the description below. This was from Amazon and it was cheap. It is holding up great, but it was like 20 to $30, tops 30 bucks. So I will leave, if y'all are interested in this, I like black multicam, so my fiance got it for me, but I'll leave a link down in the description below on Amazon where to get this and you can use my link and that'll help me out quite a bit for this video. So what do I have in this small little bag? Um, before I go into what's in the battle, we'll talk about the pros and cons. Let's talk about the pros, how small it is. That I like how small this is on me. Um, this is usually how I carry it, or I will strap it. I'll do the crossbody over my head like this. Pros, it's small, it's compact. It's got quite a bit of room for the stuff I need. This is not even completely full, um, but it's still got plenty of room for other stuff. It is comfortable. So that's pros on that lightweight. It's easy to get around, so I need to get my gun. I can swing this around and grab it. Cons. If you wanted to carry a bunch of stuff, which I don't a lot, like I said, I have my set go bag in my car. If you wanna carry a bunch of stuff, you can't really in here. So if you're one of these guys that like to carry 10 mags on you and like five tourniquets, there's nothing wrong with that. For those of you out here that had a running gun and think that the pot looks gonna happen right there, where you are, if you're at the mall, movies, restaurant, whatever. No, I don't I don't carry all that stuff. I have a go bag, but still don't even have all that stuff in it. Cons, um, went on some uh, bike rides with my fiance not too long ago, and uh, something I've noticed, or if I'm walking for a long period of time, it's most on the bike, this thing will slide a little bit. So when I ride bikes, it's, it's hanging. Um, and it's kind of just in my way, trying to hold my arms up. Um, and where I have my firearm at, it, you can attach it, but it's not the tightest. I might need to try to fix this. I have my pistol in this spot right here that's open. So I have to do a lot of zips. I can literally just pop this clip and then pull my pistol out. Um, and it does that. So let's talk about another con we have with this bag. This gun. You can see the edge of my firearm. 
I have a Glock 19 in here. Smaller guns on my 365 does not show like this. My 43X does not really show. The only thing is though, I noticed with these smaller guns, since this is open right here, they tend to slide more than this pistol does. I don't have a holster on this and no, it is not chambered. Pros, cons on the bag. So let's open this up and get into what I carry in here. We'll start at the front. It's got this small pocket here. It's got a zipper pocket here, which I don't have anything in here at the time. Uh, I'll tell you what I put in there usually. It's got an open slot here, so that's where I keep my pistol. And then it's got a big compartment here that's got a bat compartment in it. Front pocket. This is not really organized because I do use this bag. Don't know why, but I have two things of headphones. I have my ear pods and I have another set. I have a phone charger for my iPhone. One of my most used items in here that I take in and out and keep filling up. Hand sanitizer, stay clean guys. Wash your hands with the rolling out there. You don't want to catch it. I carry a small Gerber dime in here. Um, I've actually used this thing quite a bit. I didn't think I was going to need it for anything or use it. It was like $10 maybe if even. Um, and I've used it quite a bit. I actually used it at the beach a couple times. Carry a lighter. No, I do not smoke. It's just in here as one of those survival items. I'm probably going to take it out because I never need a lighter. And none of my friends smoke. I carry a small, this is the 1-3-T or I-3-T from Olight. They're a copper one. Carry a small light in here. I think this is 90 or 115, 130 lumens. Carry a light. I carry the, I want to get this name wrong, guys. I've had it for a while. The Crossbones by CRKT in here. A small knife. Yeah, I have all this in my hands on the table. And then I carry super glue. Super glue is great for a lot of reasons. We'll talk about that in another video. So, guys, that is it for the small first pocket. And guys, this is that thing. I literally just pulled the bag up and it already came a little bit loose with the way I grabbed it. Um, go into this pocket is where I keep my firearm at. Basically, whenever I flip it around my body, I can easily grab this with one hand, clip that undone, and then my firearm is in reach. So I just carry my Gen 5 19 with an Enforce APL on here. Loaded mag in there, but I do not have this thing chambered just because I don't have a holster in here. I've ran this with a holster in here and it it's hard to fit in. It's it's just too much room. So I took it out of the holster and I just leave it like this, unchambered. Wreck the slide, I'm ready to go. So this zipper pocket right here, I have nothing in here right now, but what I usually do is my work ID. I will slide that in there and sometimes I'll swat, slide my wallet if I'm wearing a bathing suit or I don't have a short or I don't have shorts with pockets, which is usually not the case. Um, but it's usually my wallet and my ID that'll go in there and some cash. There's nothing there right now. This right here, you can put a water bottle. Like I said, when I take this to the gym, I have my BCAs in here or I have my protein shake ready to go. Um, or like at the beach, what it is, I threw a couple of miscellaneous things in here. Um, but whatever you want, but I just use that really pocket for the gym. I want to carry, say, a bottle of water on me. All right, main compartment. You see with me, bent, me bending down or whatever, I'm just trying to take stuff out. I don't have a table in front of me. So what do I have in this main compartment? First thing, I have a tourniquet in here. I have a Mophie charger that is for my iPhone cord to charge my phone. I carry two chest seals and press galls in here. If you have a tourniquet, you need to have some like a chest seal or something because tourniquets don't always work. I mean, hell, if you get shot in the chest. So I carry two of those in there and then gauze and make sure you know how to use your stuff. Next thing in here, this might be a little overkill. I don't know why there's three in here. I usually only carry two, but for some reason I have three mags. I have two 17 round mags and one 15. So I think I put one in there from going to the beach because the beach where we were at, they had like three shootings in a week. So there's three times. So I have a total of four mags in this bag. I should only need two extra, maybe one extra. I might need to take some of those out. So this guy is, this bag has a place. It's pretty cool. You can charge. It's got a cord that runs. And then there's a small, you can see a USB here. 
there's a USB that's inside the bag. So if like that Mophie, I can leave in here. I can charge my phone while I'm carrying it around. I can carry it, have the cord running out here, whatever I want to do. So that's pretty cool. How is that? I've never used it, but it does have that option in case you want to use it. So that was it for the back compartment, but in the back compartment, there is a little slot. So you can see back there, I carry my, my K-Bar TDI knife. This is a great knife. I used to carry this at work. I have a different one now, a little bigger, but this is a great knife. I already have my, pocket, my flip knife in there, but that's just something. If for some reason I couldn't get my gun lost at whatever the case may be, some other sort of protection. All right, I have, no, oh, I took that out. So I have a Sharpie, pen, and a handcuff key. The pen just fell. Um, I had a set of handcuffs in here. I took those out. I'm not trying to restrain anybody when I'm out. Um, that comes to the point. Don't put yourself in that situation. Try to be a hero unless you want to. Don't try to restrain somebody if they're acting up. I mean, do what you gotta do until law enforcement arrives. Um, but I didn't take that handcuff key out because I did have handcuffs in there. And then I carry a notebook. Um, a lot of people have asked in my older videos, I used to carry a notebook on me. So filming something on YouTube, I use my notepad on my phone a lot. When I have a video idea or whatever, I type it in my notes and I have a whole list of videos I have that I got to film here soon. But what the notepad is though, say if I have my video idea, I can write down my key points that I want to talk about instead of winging some of these videos. Um, I try to go off, I don't script my videos, but I go try to run as planned as I can so I don't miss any things. I have filmed quite a bit of stuff and forgot what the hell to say something on. Um, so that's always keep a notebook in there. So guys, that is everything in this bag. Like I said, this is just my small, minimal EDC bag. I'm not a go bag, nothing like that. This sits in my passenger seat with me or behind my seat um, whenever I need it and take it. Basically, it goes everywhere with me. I'm about to leave. It's going with me beside my seat. If you have any questions or right anything, I will leave a link down below of what this is. And I did get it from Amazon. So if you guys are interested in this bag, don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, no, it's not a Vertex, uh, Vertex and all that other stuff. Um, can I, but it's a decent bag for the money. Like I said, this is what I'm using right now. And the reason is me spending 80 plus dollars on something small that I take to the beach where it's going to get beat up, whatever. So I will leave a link down below. Guys, if you have any questions or comments about any of this stuff or things to add, take out what you have, I'd love to hear it down there. If you could like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to me already. And also hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload videos. And if you want to help support this channel just a little bit more, guys, but you don't have to, I'll leave a link to my Patreon down below. And also, if you want to reach out to me a little bit, me respond a little bit quicker, I'll leave a link to my Instagram account. I'm very more active on there. I post YouTube once a week. Check my comments most daily. If not, I'll reply to you in a couple of days. Just bear with me, guys. I do work a full-time job. But guys, I appreciate it. And as always, y'all have a good one.